All right, it's been a few days since I worked on this car. My package with the shifter stuff in it finally arrived. I'm kind of afraid to even open it. Um, definitely not 100% sure this is gonna be the right part. But let's see what we got. Okay, here's what I got. Is this the right part? Who knows? We will find out soon, hopefully. Hmm. Well, let's see. Okay, um, the good news is I found my light. Uh, now, I can't really tell for sure what's going on here because, I, well, who knows? <laughs> this may or may not be completely all aftermarket, so let's just start taking it apart here and hopefully things will become clear. A couple of Torx screws here, one of which looks like it's all stripped out. Hmm. Think. So there's a little screw over here, which is this guy, number 27, also looks stripped out. Somebody really did a number on this one. Man. Okay, I'm back. Uh, got a couple of replacement screws and also found possible retainer clip option, which is this little guy. Uh, uh, so I got this little clip, which seems okay. The problem is that I was finding with a lot of the E clips and things are that this space here is so small that by the time you get a clip that clips on there very good it's smaller around than 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 this and if it could fit on you know if the thing slides over this it's going to slide over a little thing here so i got this one the other benefit of this is that i think i can actually get it on down there maybe so i'm gonna give that a try let's see if i have any success I don't know. I may not. It's pretty tight squeeze. I think I got it on there. 
It's a miracle. Great. Okay. It's starting to come together now. And this needs a little bit of grease. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're good here. I like it. So now we're basically back to the same place I was two weeks ago, which is adjusting the linkage to the transmission. So I'm gonna go back out to the transmission, lock it in place, and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got the transmission in its little locked position known position so now um, now that we have our alignment stuff here I use my little alignment key and get this maybe where it's supposed to go Kitty. Okay, something like that. Cat, watch out. That's what people need to see. They want to see. Okay, so here's my alignment tool. So it slots down like that. So now let me, I'm going to clamp down the little end pieces that clamp on the shift cables. And then, what do you call it? Unpin the the little thing that holds the transmission in place and then I'll come back here pull this and it should be all good we'll see okay that's all good pull in my pin okay so now theoretically it should all be aligned let's see what it feels like So it should be first, second, third, fourth, no, not down, let's see, reverse, first, reverse, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sweet. I think it feels good. I think we're golden. Boy. That whole rigmarole, I could have done without. So I just got to put back the, the console pieces here. There it is, the finished product. Uh, this console is pretty knackered. I replaced a few missing screws but there's some broken plastic parts and nothing really fits as snug as it should anymore but hey check it out i got a shifter that i think works we'll soon find out if it really works but this i think is a big improvement from the uh you know, whatever the heck was going on here before. I don't even know what I did with that thing. The old shift knob. Where is it? Aha! This was the, the upgraded one. This part was under the back. I think it was, you know, supposed to be super cool like that. I think this part was just under the bag, though. This bag here. So really... How was this? Something like that. Garbage. I think at this point I have all the wiring connected, including the starter, which I just did. 
Um, so the next part is going to be putting the radiator and the brackets back. So you know what? I'm gonna have to take this back off. I just realized the reason I took this off way back in the beginning was to get this intake on. And yeah, I gotta do that. So that was a good practice run. Let's take this back off. Okay, I just took out six bolts, these two up here and then the two in front, and I just moved it out a little bit, which hopefully will give me the space I need. All right, this is the original intake that came off the other motor. Um, I'm gonna use this one because on the one, I, the used one I got, one of these, I can't remember which one it was, but one was broken off. Uh, don't love this on here, so I'm gonna use that one, which came with this motor. Um, in fact, maybe I could get this out of the way right now, so I'm one less thing to do battle with. Okay, there's that. This little thing seems like it would be one of the easiest things to do, but it's somehow just not. Even though these bolts are kind of up and out here, they're all hard to get to. And just to make it interesting, they added some little brackets and things that go under them. Like the dipstick tube's got a bracket on one of these. There's a water line that goes across, it's got two brackets, and if you do them in the wrong order, the, uh, the thing that's bracketed is blocking other bolts. So it's a very uh, tricky little thing for no reason. Okay, now back to putting this back up and connecting hoses and whatnots. Mm -hmm. 